Okay, so um, I have a, a problem here um, finding an electric field due to a charge distribution that I, I just made up. I don't really know that it's going to work out perfectly, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, so here's the situation. I have a line, a rod, with charge on it, and I want to find the electric field over here. So a distance r away, so it's a, a line at a, a length of the L. But it's not any special line. It doesn't have a uniform charge distribution. Instead, it has a charge distribution, a charge density, uh, lambda, a charge per unit length, A times X. So over here, there's no charge. And over here, there's a lot. So as you move this way, there's more and more and more charge. So we'll still use the same method for finding electric field. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. So the first thing that we do is say, OK, I'm going to break this into a little piece, dq, <clears throat> and, and I can give the location of that as x, just because that will be useful later. Uh, and then I need to write down the electric field due to that piece right here. First, let's use a little bit of symmetry. All, if these are positive, all these pieces are going to make contributions to electric field that way. In fact, I call that the x direction. So I don't have to find components of electric fields. They're all going to be in the same direction. Uh, so really, I could just write dEx. So that's the x component of the electric field. There's, that's the only thing that survives. It's going to be, I can treat this like a little point charge. So it's 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dQ. And then I need to divide by the distance from here to there squared. So this is going to be L plus R minus x. That's it. Okay. That's the electric field due to that little piece right there as though it were point charge. It has a charge dq, and this is the distance from here to there. And I don't have an r hat because I've already wrote it, written it as a, a, a scalar component. Okay, we can't, obviously, we're going to add up pieces in the x direction, and so we need this to be really dx, not dq. So, how do I get? Uh, that. Well, if I have a little piece uh, dq and I multiply it by uh, lambda, the charge density per unit length, then, or I need to, wait, no, I'd be like this, right. So if the length of the whole piece is dx and I multiply by the charge density per unit length, I get the charge. So this is true. So lambda is my charge density times my little piece. I get dq. Uh, but, but lambda is also ax, so it's going to be ax dx. So I can put that in here, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Uh, I get ax dx over l plus r minus x squared. Now, let me just point out something here that's important. I have some variables, and I have some constants. But there are different kinds of variables. In this problem, you know, L is the length of that rod. OK, that's no big deal. Um, and A is the uh, constant that goes along with the, the density function. But the two that are, we're looking at are R and X. They're both things that can change. You know, I can move R further away. And X is this location of this uh, element inside of here. In this case, when I integrate, R is a constant. I'm not, I'm not changing R as I add up these pieces. I'm trying to find out the expression at R. So that's not going to be in my integration. It's a constant in terms of my integration, whereas X is not. OK, so then I'm just going to integrate both sides. And this will integrate from X equals 0 to X equals L. I'm adding up those pieces. OK, really? I like everyone always says that's the end of the physics, but, but you know, there's other things too. Okay, is this a doable integral? Um, I don't know for sure, but I think it is. Uh, let's just rewrite this as one, uh, bring out the a. a over four pi epsilon naught. And then I get x dx over l plus r minus x squared. <coughs> now, oh no, let's see. Oh, I don't know. 
I was thinking that would do U substitution, but that's not going to work. Um, hmm. Well, that's awkward. See if I call. So if I, I was going to say this is U is L plus R minus X, but DU is going to be negative DX. I don't have U over over that. So really, I think this would have to. You have to use uh, uh, parts integration by parts. Um, but I'm not going to do that, just because you know that goes into a lot more detail in terms of calculus and so forth. Um, well, you can do that, and you should. Okay. Uh, I, if this was a case on the on a test, I'd probably give you an integral table, or at least tell you how to do integration by parts. But really, you should know how to do that. But I just don't want to take up the time. But you know, w once you get this integral, then you'll get uh, something that doesn't have x in it, but it will have uh, a and l and lambda in there and R. Okay. Um, and you can still check and see that make sure that things work. You can check the units. Right? It should be the same as units as this. Q over R squared. Should have the same units as a point charge. Um, limit as uh, R goes to infinity. And if you move further and further away, this just looks like a point charge. And so it should go to something like that. Um, also, as L goes to zero, this should look like a point charge. So, okay, that's that.